Poison gas was used to make territory unavailable. It could break a deadlock and drive the enemies out of their trenches in fear of inhaling the deadly gas. Poison gas was delivered by pressurized gas cylinders. A turning key would be inserted and gas was released when the key is turned. Many gases were developed, but chlorine, phosgene, and mustard gas were the most widely used for chemical warfare in World War I. Fritz Haber first developed chlorine gas for Germany to use in 1914. By slowly destroying the respiratory system of its victims, inhaling chlorine gas induced an agonizing death. They experienced irritation, sneezing, nausea, and painful vomiting. The victims are unable to breathe properly and eventually choke to death from lack of oxygen. Phosgene gas was produced in 1915 by Victor Grignard and French chemists, which proved to be more effective than chlorine gas. Phosgene gas is deadlier than chlorine because it requires less time and a lower concentration to incapacitate a soldier. Mustard gas is a blistering agent that affects any exposed skin instead of only the respiratory system. A soldier experiencing the effects of this gas would be blinded, have harshly blistered skin, and suffer internal and external bleeding. This oily gas is heavy as well, settling to the ground. In good weather, it can stay active in the soil for months. Poison gas can no longer be used today because it classifies as chemical warfare. It is a weapon that utilizes chemical agents to incapacitate, injure, or kill people. Chemical warfare was prohibited by a series of treaties such as the Hague Conventions, which numerous countries broke during World War I, the 1928 Geneva Protocol, the 1972 Biological Weapons Convention, and the 1993 Chemical Weapons Convention. These treaties outlawed the production, storage, and transfer and use of chemical and biological weapons. Although they had been outlawed by numerous treaties, tear gas is not allowed to be used in war, but they can be used by the police, by armed forces for riot control and drills, and for self-defense purposes. Germany was the first to use poison gas in World War I, but was cautious of breaking the Hague Convention Treaty. The French were the first ones to use poison gas and break the treaty by employing tear gas grenades at the Battle of Ypres, Belgium in 1914. This provoked Germany, who was trying to move across neutral Belgium to retaliate with chlorine gas in 1915. I don't think poison gas is a successful piece of warfare technology because it didn't drastically affect the outcome of the war. Rather than clearly deciding a battle, poison gas only proved to incapacitate the enemy soldiers. Also, as more advanced chemical weapons were being produced, protective countermeasures such as gas masks and counteractive chemicals were being produced as well. The gas mask would filter the poison and make the soldiers less susceptible to death. Before gas masks were made, soldiers would use cotton pads soaked in bicarbonate of soda or their own urine. The ammonia in the pads neutralized the poison gas. Poison gas is also unpredictable. The wind can change the direction of the gas and even blow it back onto the attacker's side. Even temperature can change gas, freezing it and making it ineffective. Overall, poison gas, although it caused intense suffering, was an ineffective and unpredictable piece of warfare technology.